Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, click the like button if you like, and please subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and share. You can share these videos with your friends and your family. Well, this is kind of a sad one here, another shooting. One dead, one in custody, after shooting at an Arkansas hospital, officials say. I'll never understand it, but oh well. One person died after a shooting inside Arkansas Hospital Wednesday morning, authorities said. Sherwood police were called to Shy St. Vincent North about 10 a.m. about a possible active shooter. Sherwood Police Chief Jeff Hager said in an afternoon news conference, the hospital was placed on lockdown. Officers did locate one victim deceased from at least one gunshot, gunshot wound at the hospital, Hager said. <clears throat> A suspect, Raymond Allen Lovett, 24, of Little Rock, was taken into custody, Hager said. Layton Delane Whitfield, 21, of North Little Rock, was visiting a patient at the hospital when he was fatally shot. He was found on the fourth floor of the hospital, Hager said, and pronounced dead at the scene. Hager, Hager did not provide a motive, but called the deadly shooting an isolated event that just happened to take place in a public facility. The, sub, sub, the suspect, Hager said, had not been formally charged by mid-afternoon Wednesday with any crimes. Hospital C. E.O. Chad Adudel, A-D-U-D-D-E-L, Adudel, said that staff had trained for active shooter scenarios and that the hospital's security measures would be reviewed. We will debrief and look at our security protocols, continue to drill and take precautions, he said. He called the deadly shooting a tragic situation, and yes, it was in a hospital. Oh, mercy, mercy. Little Rock Police said in a tweet they assisted in the investigation by detaining a potential suspect in an Axion gas station. Officials said the suspect was detained about an hour after the shooting was reported. Hospital spokesman Joshua Cook said the lockdown was lifted Wednesday afternoon and regular operations had resumed. The hospital is once again seeing patients, Cook said. Sherwood is about 10 miles northeast of Little Rock. Mercy, mercy, mercy. You just wonder, why, oh, why, why? And his excuse. Where was that? Layton Delane Whitfield, 21. 21 years, 30 Rock was visiting a patient at the hospital when he was fatally shot. 21, so young, his life just wiped out. Hager did not provide a motive, but called the deadly shooting an isolated event that just happened to take place in a public facility. What kind of mind does that Hagar got? It's like, it's just, oh, an event that just happened in a public place. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, my thoughts are not proper for me to speak of as of right now. So I will say I have no words. Let me go find another article that I might have. Mercy to Murgatroyd, I tell you what, we just, we never know, do we? Never know. Top Republicans erupt on Pelosi. Well, that don't surprise me, does it you? <laughs> House GOP leadership criticized Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Democratic California after she said that Republicans committed to America package is their extremist agenda. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy <coughs> excuse me, 
during an interview with Fox News Digital on Friday, said that Pelosi is scared of having to run with a current legislative record of the Democrats. On Friday, House Republicans also launched their commitment to America, a plan which would attempt to provide solutions on a wide range of issues, such as parental rights and the economy. This plan shows what the Republicans plan to focus on if they manage to retake the House in November's midterm elections. Yeah, I've been reading about the government wants to control uh, our children. That would be my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. Uh, why? No freedom. Here we go again. No words, no freedom. I'm going to add it to my no words. Pelosi, on the other hand, said that this Republican plan shows their commitment to the MAGA, MAGA, ideology and is looking to greatly diminish Americans' health, freedom, and security. Yes, it is. She also said that this plan is going to criminalize women's health care, slash seniors' Medicare, and raise prescription drug prices and attack our free and fair elections. Now that's what Pelosi's saying? Hmm. And she wants a proxy voters that can vote for these people that get paid in Congress and they don't even have to show up. And it's their job. It's their job to vote. But she wants it proxy. Proximized? Is that a word? I'm making up my own words now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well, McCarthy, a Republican from California, however, has said that Pelosi's attack is unfounded and that this plan would simply change the course that America is on. He also added that they will be looking to fix some of the issues that the Democrats have been running and causing, including inflation, trying to defund the police, and make the prices of guns higher. He added that currently the Democrats also don't have any plans to fix the problems they're causing. House Minority Whip Steve Scalise, Scalise, Republican of Louisiana, said that the comments made by Pelosi show that she is out of touch with Americans. You could say that again. Yeah, you could really say that again. She added the American public is angry about prices, the far left policies, and inflation. Well, shouldn't we be? Her and Biden, are they related? I, I just thought I'd ask that question because I, I don't know. Everything Pelosi says her pregnancy will do are lies, and she knows it. And this is by evidently another YouTuber. Republicans will do... Uh, will do... Oh, everything po po Republicans will do. Oh, Pelosi says this about the Republicans, that they're lies. Republicans are just lying. And she knows it. Congress people are not held responsible for lying on the floor of Congress. They made that rule and law to protect themselves. I personally feel that should be changed and everyone should be held responsible to be honest in their statements and there be penalties for anyone caught outright lying. I have to agree with this person. Absolutely got to agree. I mean, where or how is this going to end? Please. Midterms. Oh. I don't know. Well, let's try this one here by the IRS. And hopefully, I have not did this one before. A lengthy report on just the news last week chronicles the Inter Internal Revenue Service's long history of abuse that it is not in dispute. Citing analysis, just the news, John Solomon confirms the claim that in recent years, the IRS has disproportionately audited low-income Americans, including those receiving the Earned Income Tax Credit. 
the GAO reported that between 2.10 and 2.21, most of the additional taxes obtained through audits came from Americans earning less than $200,000. The GAO also reported in the spring that as audit rates have been declining across the board, among those earnings more than $200,000, the audit rate decreased at a more significant rate. According to the 2019 study, five of the uh, countries, counties with the highest audit rates are predominantly rural black counties in the South. Other counties with high audit rates are predominantly Hispanic counties in South Texas and South Dakota counties that are home to Native American reservations. The Congressional Budget Office also projected that the increased IRS funding in the so-called Inflation Reduction Act will increase audits among middle and working class Americans. What's more, over half of all IRS, IRS workers were still working remotely as of April of 2022, and this trend predated the COVID lockdowns. Last fall, the National Treasury Employees unions reached an agreement with the IRS to further expand the number of employees who can work from home, including those in customer service positions. But the most egregious problem with the International Revenue Service is its failure to protect the privacy of American taxpayers. Yeah, I mean, you, your information, your bank account, your checkbook. They know every penny. They do. I read this how many times, and I know you have too. We are not alone anymore. Now here comes a new word, governized. We are all being governized. In other words, they control us. We're like puppets and they're gonna pull our strings let alone what Congress does to us, and a president like Biden. Oh, mercy. Earlier this month, the IRS confirmed that it's improperly published the private financial information of about 120,000 taxpayers online, including the filers' names, contact information, and significant portions of their financial records. What did I just say? We all knew it. This is not news to us. Why do they think we're stupid? You know, this is not news to us. We've known this for how many years now? And still, they're going to take over our children and take over us. Everything. Our decisions. Freedom. Freedom. What happened to freedom? Oh, my God. To date, the IRS still hasn't held anyone accountable for the 2021 leak to the outlet ProPublica of private tax information from the wealthiest Americans despite such a leak being a felony. Now let me go over that again. To date, the IRS still hasn't held anyone accountable for the 21 leak to the outlet ProPublica of private tax information from the wealthiest. What they do, leave out the wealthy people and just the middle class and poor? Well, we don't doubt that, do we? We just don't doubt it. No, we just don't frickin' doubt it. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna uh, look for some more articles to read and um, I sure could use someone to help me do things like other people do on here, but I'm getting by the way I am, so maybe I'll find another uh, person that could help me do some stuff. Uh, I would like to get um, the, the speaking news reports and have me down in the corner. Do you get what I mean? You know, I see a lot of it, and I, I love that. 
because it isn't just me reading words then you would be able to see for yourself what I'm what I'm saying you know but I need help getting that done I have tried it <laughs> and I was afraid I'd probably mess my computer up worse than it already is so I quit <laughs> but um, I need to find a coach and Walter he just you know he left too soon God love him okay I'll be back. I will find some more news, and I wished I would look at the camera, too. You know what Walter told me to do? He said, put a picture of someone you love by your cam and talk to them like a grandchild, mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, whatever, someone that you, you love, and put their picture by your cam and talk to them. Then that will keep you so much from raising your head and keep looking to make sure your videos running correctly that's a great point he was such a good coach such a great coach okay everybody well i'll see you a little bit later stay safe check for drugs and be safe and i'll see you in a little bit bye